Hi, I'm Sandy Thompson of Marsh Brothers Aviation, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the benefits to the owner of upgrading to our Aerotuff grease-free bushing kit for the landing gear and our Thor seals and Thor wipers. Well, one of the things that it is important, it's really more important to bigger aircraft, but it's also important to you is that you save weight. You can save about 12 pounds on the weight of the aircraft, empty weight of the aircraft by fitting our kit. That's about how much the bronze bushings weigh versus the Aerotuff. 12 pounds may be not a huge amount, but it's 12 pounds more fuel or 12 pounds more baggage you can carry. No greasing at the annual inspection, just zero greasing. You don't need to look at a single joint. That's a huge saving of time. Could be two men one day just to do the landing gear, inspect all the joints and do all the greasing. That's time and that's money. Besides, if you have a plug fitting, and you know, we've all seen that, plug fitting means the grease doesn't go in. And if you don't have the grease going into the joint, then there's a risk of having the joint seize. You gotta take the fitting, the nipple off, you gotta find out why the grease isn't going in there. Maybe the bushing has turned and the hole's blocked. If you don't fix that, then you have a joint that doesn't get greased and you have a risk of seizing. Cleaning the landing gear of grease takes time and some people don't do it. I've actually seen an Aerostar that had been to the paint shop and out again and it looked beautiful except they painted right over the old grease at the trunnion points, unbelievable. No grease means a landing gear that's easier to keep clean once it's been done. There's another point about this that we, we actually have a separate video on it, but that is the wing fuel doesn't cause the wing to drop. When you fuel an empty wing on an Aerostar that's been equipped with the Marsh Brothers kit, the wing doesn't drop. Now, I've had it happen once in 400 hours, but I would consider that was an anomaly. It only happened once. You can still bump the wings up if you want to add fuel as you used to do. There's no change to that, and it's no more difficult to bump it up than it used to be. And finally, having the Aerostar equipped with our Marsh Brothers Grease Food Kit really sets you apart from the crowd. You go into a ramp and tell the, the ramp rat that, hey, this airplane doesn't have any grease joints on the landing gear. He's going to look at you and say, what? I've never seen an airplane like that before, because there aren't any others. This is absolutely new technology. Nobody else has done it. So why not join the crowd? Now let's take a look at the hangar and I'll show you just where they go and what the various parts are and what they do. Hi folks, this is a Aerostar 700P main landing gear on the left side. Pretty well all Aerostars have the same gear except for the nose gear. And we've equipped this airplane almost 400 hours ago with the Marsh Brothers self-lubricating bushings in all positions. All seals, all bushings that would previously have been made of metal are now made of Aerotub grease-free polymer. So we break the kit up. We have a full kit that covers the entire landing gear for the, for the whole aircraft. And then we have separate kits. This is an Oleo kit. And uh, that basically comprises all the parts that are inside the cylinder of the landing gear, the Oleo the landing gear. So let's open it up and see what we have there. First of all, Here's what we call, call the top cap. This rides up and down on the piston in assembly inside. It's held on by buttons that go through these holes. This replaces the bronze part. This is our floating piston. Our floating piston is also made of Aerotuff, so it can't scratch the metal. It has uh, two opposing lip seals, one to seal against the nitrogen pressure and the other against the hydraulic. And that basically replaces the O-ring seal on the OEM part. Then the next part is the gland, and this goes right in this area here. This carries the seal, which seals the hydraulic fluid, and it has the wiper. And we've replaced the wiper, a metallic wiper, with a polymer one. We still retain an O-ring for the static seal on the outside, but the internal seal is a Thor seal which is much better sealed on an O-ring. Should last the life of the airplane. These are the torque links. They take the highest pressure on the entire landing gear. They're higher loaded bearings than anywhere else. That's up at the top here and down at the bottom here. And we've had, uh, we've had some problems in this area, quite frankly. We've had several different iterations of bearings, but I think we finally got one that's gonna survive and do well without needing greasing. Also the nose uh, position up here 
it's not as highly loaded as the ones at the bottom. These are the highest. Down here, these disc brake assemblies are prevented from rotation by pins, which engage in a brake anchor block. And the pins go into bushings in the brake anchor block, and they're normally made of steel. Those steel bushings can get brake dust in between the pin and the bush, causing a wear and actually hanging up the brake assembly. We've replaced them with Aerotuff. The heat doesn't seem to be a problem for us. They've been on this airplane for about 400 hours, and they look good. Never need any lubrication. The upper part of the landing gear has trunnion bearings at the top of the main landing gear leg. And there are also trunnion bearings for the drag brace here, up in the wing section. Uh, they're also Aerotuff, and they never see any loading while there's motion. They only get loaded up when everything is static. So it's not as bad a location as you might think. Here we had to change the shape of the bearings because they, this is a highly loaded position where the drag link breaks here at this position and where it's connected to the main oleo link. But again, all these bearings are Aerotuff now and they're all doing well. This is the Weeble nose gear for the Aerostar 700P and just like we have in the main landing gear, all bearing positions have been changed over to Aerotuff grease free. We've got almost 400 hours of time on those bushings and no grease has been applied. Particularly important point is the steering collar here, which is typically a problem area if it isn't properly greased. Well, we have no grease on it at all. We have a Aerotuff grease-free gland, as well as the seal and the wiper installed in this position, and we have an Aerotuff floating piston inside the nose gear.